This is BBC World News. Hello, I'm Ros Atkins. Our lead story comes from America, which has halved the COVID isolation period for people without symptoms. We'll look at the reasons behind the decision. In Europe, Germany and France have tightened their restrictions to try and limit the surge of the Omicron variant. We'll report from Russia, its Supreme Court's ruled the country's best known human rights group must be dissolved. China is saying its astronauts are being put in danger of collision with satellites launched by Elon Musk. And we'll hear about how the secrets of one ancient Egyptian pharaoh have been unwrapped. We'll talk to the researcher who peeled off the bandages using modern technology. A warm welcome to BBC World News. We'll begin in the US, where health authorities have halved the recommended isolation period for people who test positive for COVID but don't exhibit symptoms. They previously warned of half a million cases a day in the coming weeks because of the Omicron variant. That isolation time, though, goes from 10 to 5 days. Officials insist this is being guided by the science, but we're seeing different countries use quite different strategies to handle the pandemic. In France, more restrictions are coming. Remote working is now compulsory where possible and indoor gatherings are now limited to 2,000 people. In England, daily infections remain at their highest levels of the pandemic, but Health Secretary Sajid Javid says there will be no further measures before the new year, but of course people should remain cautious. And then there's China. It remains committed to a zero COVID strategy, and on Tuesday, it put hundreds of thousands more people under lockdown in parts of the city of Yan'an. Now, let's go back to that reduction in self-isolation for asymptomatic cases in the US. Here's one doctor explaining why this is possible. 